Hey, welcome back. I'm going to do a book review on Dare You Do by Katie McGarry. And if I don't know if you watched my last book review on Pushing the Limits, but um, Dare You Too has one of the characters in Pushing the Limits, Beth, which is Noah and Isaiah's other best friend. And so this one is about instead of Noah found his Echo, like found Echo to be with, and now this is going to be about Beth finding her love or whatever. And... Um, it was written in 2013, and I picked this book because I liked Pushing the Limits, and I looked on her website, on Katie McGarry's website, and I saw that they had a few other ones. So the back says, I dare you. If anyone knows the truth about Beth Risk's home life, they'd send her mother to jail and 17-year-old Beth, who knows where. So she protects her mother, mom at all costs until the day her uncle swoops in. And Beth finds herself startling, starting at over at a school where no one understands her except for the one guy who shouldn't get her, but does. Ryan Stone is the town golden boy, a popular baseball star jock with secrets he can't tell anyone, not even the friends he shares everything with, including the constant dares to do crazy things, the craziest asking out the skater girl who couldn't be less interested in him. But what begins as a dare becomes an intense attraction. Suddenly the boy with the flawless image is risking everything for the girl he loves and the girl who won't let anyone get too close to daring herself to want it all. So pretty much um, Beth has just lived with her mom and her mom's boyfriend and it's just a bad situation. Beth is always coming to the rescue for her mom and what happened was Noah and Isaiah, her two best friends, um, figured it out finally and got tired of it. So they called Beth's uncle and he came and took Beth away pretty much and let her live there. And so then the Ryan Stone guy was is um, like a baseball player or something. I think it's baseball. Yeah, a baseball player. And he's very popular, but his friends do, like, these a lot of dares. And they dared him to ask out the skater girl when they were out at a fast food restaurant. And, um, so he did that. And she said no the first few times. So he kept doing it and doing it and doing it until she finally said yes. And then he ended up actually liking her, even though she's just, like, that awkward, unpopular outcast girl. And so Beth gets back into trouble again with her mom, and Ryan ends up getting hurt. I'm not gonna say exactly what, but um, anyways, it just goes through that how Ryan and Beth end up together, and what happens to Ryan when Beth gets back in trouble again, and it goes through uh, Beth's um story, her background, and her struggle of adjusting to a new school and not being with Noah and Isaiah, her two best friends, and just um, overall just Beth's problems. Also, Echo is in this because Noah and Echo are actually together too, so yeah. Um, I really liked this book. I mean, it's easy to follow. Just like Pushing the Limits, it has Beth, and then it'll go to... Ryan again so it goes back and forth and like pushing the limits it overlaps just a little so you don't get lost so pretty much it's explaining everything that's going on you're not missing anything you're not wondering what Beth is thinking or what Ryan is thinking or what Ryan is doing when they're not together or what Beth's doing when they're not together so pretty much it covers everything there's 455 pages, so like I said, I think I finished this in three days too, maybe two and a half, because it was really good to me, and I liked it, so it was pretty an easy read, especially since the writing is really big and simple, and there's no hard words really, and it was $9.99, and I did buy this at Barnes & Noble too, so... 
Um, it's also another high school drama kind of book in a way, but it's not as easy to relate to because, I mean, not everybody has the home life problems that Beth had, and not all, it's not very common that a jock and a popular dude falls in love and starts dating an outcast loser, so I guess it was kind of nice to see because it was a little different and gave us hope that the world will get a better place. But anyways, yeah. Um, so, I liked it a lot. Don't know. Um, it was appropriate. Definitely young adults, high school age, people could read it. I mean, it's still pretty interesting for me, too, even though I'm a little older. I just found it interesting because it's realistic. So, it doesn't keep you guessing, like I said. And the storyline with an outcast who has a lot of problems getting to be with a popular guy who decides to love her and actually put his life on the line and get rid of his popularity just to be with her and then also bring her in. You know, it just was amazing. I really, really liked it. Um, they said it was riveting and emotional ride by New York Times bestselling author. Um, so they liked it. But, yeah, I... So yes, you can check this out. I'm sure you can find it at a library or online or you could get it on Barnes & Noble. Yeah, thanks.